So, for the next part in the series, I'm going to take you through a little bit more of a deeper dive of my plan of how I'm going to achieve the 5k. So, come with me while I empty the bins and tell you about my plan. So I've not been running for about a year, so the first thing that we really need to work on is actually getting me back to some level of running. So for a little while now I've been working on running sessions that have been alternating between a run-walk. So I would run for a little bit and then walk and we've been gradually dropping the walk segments of it and increasing the run segments of it as well as the distance that I've been running and the amount of times I've been running as well. So that all factored in has been one of the first running things that I've been focusing on. As the strength of my running sessions has increased, I've been able to start targeting more specific sessions. So we've started to integrate things like speed sessions, working on focusing on my strides, as well as throwing in some heart rate training as well. All of this has been factored into the running throughout the week and increasing it, as well as decreasing the amount of cycling I'm doing. And we got to a point where we actually dropped the swim. The running hasn't been my only focus though in this run up to 5k. One of the biggest things that I've been working towards is my physio sessions and my physio has been broken down now after revisiting the hospital into two different sessions. So the first one is a daily session that I do every single day and it is basically an opportunity for me to stretch out my hamstrings which are ridiculously tight and also to stretch out my lower back which is something I've had problems with for quite a few years now. The second set is quite a bit of a chunkier set and actually it's going through various moves which are strengthening up my glutes, it's helping me to strengthen up my lower back, it's working on my core muscles and it's generally just getting everything firing properly and working properly so that when I run things are doing what they're supposed to be doing. So that is done about three to four times a week and there's three to four sets as well. So although it is a bigger session, it is a key session as part of my training. Now, when we started getting these bigger sessions of physio, we actually decided to drop the strength and conditioning because a lot of the moves we were doing in that one, we've actually put into the physio sets now. The physio sessions aren't set in stone though. And one of the things that I'm trying to achieve with it is as I start to get stronger in each of the moves and each of the sets, I can gradually increase them. So the single leg stand, I've now taken from 30 seconds up to 45. And some of the other moves, I've increased the amount of reps I do. There are some of them that still need a lot of work and support, but I know that I'm going to get to a point where I progress. And this is the challenge that I'm currently facing now. So it's making sure that these moves are comfortable enough for me to do so that they're not hurting me, but also throwing in the challenge of being able to increase the reps or the amount of time that I'm doing them so that I am gradually increasing the physio. So by the next time I go along and check in with him, we can see how much progress I've made. The running and the physio are my two main bulks of sessions throughout the day, but I still have the occasional cycle session as well as swim session and various other forms of exercise as well, which do get thrown in. But the biggest focus will be on getting me back to a place where I can comfortably run without any pain and where I can complete the physio sessions and basically get stronger. So that's a little bit of a deeper dive into my plan and how I'm going to get there and actually in a couple of weeks time I have a check-in back with a physio up at the hospital so I will be able to see how I've progressed, where we go next and see if I can get myself to the finish line of a 5k by running the whole entire thing. Thanks for checking in, don't forget to check back next week where I'm going to take you through another little bit of insight and I will also be able to catch you up on how I'm doing as I'm progressing through the training. <laughs>